when we are considering this aeroplane at all in a in the front side there will be a propeller and when this aeroplane is taking a left turn there will be some effect called the gyrospoke reaction effect because of that this will tilt aeroplane will tilt and that effect is uh, discussed in this problem here there is an aeroplane and it is flying with a velocity 240 km per hour and it turns towards left and they complete a quarter circle of 60 that is first aeroplane is like this and it is turning left and they come taking a 90 degree turn then and that angle is 60 degree that turning angle is 60 degree that turning radius is 60 degree so if you are considering uh, this is center this aeroplane will be taking a circle of quarter circle of 60 degree and this ma mass of rotary engine and uh, propeller of the plane that is mass of the aeroplane is 450 kilogram uh, radius of radiation is 320 and the engine speed is given as 2000 rpm and uh, now and it is rotating clockwise when viewed from the rear end when viewed from the back side it is rotating clockwise now determine the gyroscopic effect here if we are representing this figure then it will be somewhat like uh, like this this is the aeroplane and uh, here this propeller is rotating we are looking from the rear end when we are looking from the rear end it is rotating in the clockwise direction so propeller will be rotating somewhat like this so uh, if we are representing this angular velocity when it is rotating in the clockwise direction then the angular velocity direction will be towards the plane of rotation that means towards the propeller here so this angular velocity is somewhat like this so if you are representing angular velocity angular velocity will be like this now it is turning left when it is turning, here it is said that it is turning left with an angle 90 degree, but we are just taking it is turning left. So when it is turning left, the angular aeroplane will be like this. So now the angular velocity's direction will be represented like this. That is angular velocity will be somewhat like this. So the change in angular velocity is represented by this arrow. So that is say this is O A B. So it is represented by A B. So there will be a reaction that is shown by A dash B dash. And now if you are taking this right hand in the same direction that of A dash B dash, we will get the gyroscopic reaction. It is like this. That means this reaction is acting, the reaction acting on the plane is somewhat like this. That means uh, this tail will dip and nose will rise or simply we can write like this suppose say that we are looking from the rear end and then propeller is rotating clockwise now the plane is turning left then surely nose will rise nose will rise and the tail will dip so we can use this particular table to find any answer now let's go to the question the it is given that it is flying at 240 km per hour. That means uh, velocity is 240 km per hour. So in meter per to convert it into meter per second, multiply it 5 by 18, we will get 16.67 meter per second. So that is flying velocity. Now mass is given 450 kilogram. K is given 0 0.32. So we can find moment of inertia mk square. That is 46.08. Similarly, since velocity is given, we can find this. Uh, uh, angular velocity of precession that means angular velocity required for that turning so that is equal to velocity by radius that means if the radius of rotation is given and the speed of aeroplane is given then divide the speed of aeroplane with this radius of rotation we will get omega p omega p is the angular velocity for the precession so that is equal to 1.01 so c c means a couple created because of uh, this effect variation effect that is equal to i omega omega p the this omega represents for the omega of the propeller and the propeller speed is given as 2000 rpm into 2 pi n by 60 you will get into 2 pi by 60 you will get omega into omega p v by r so we will get the uh, couple uh, couple because of variation effect now first question aeroplane turns right so here we are looking from the rear end 
propeller is uh, rotating in the clockwise direction but aeroplane is turning right so just opposite will happen noise nose will dip and tail will rise now the second thing engine rotate clockwise when viewed from the nose end so now we are looking from the front front so we are looking from front and of course it is rotating in the clockwise direction now engine turns to first take this one engine turns to left so left so there is a single change that is we are looking from the front then exactly opposite of this will happen that is nose will dip nose dip now the next thing is engine takes right so again front clockwise but a right opposite of the second thing will happen nose will rise so, so this is how we tell the effect but be sure that we are drawing this diagram and we are somewhat representing this uh, gyroscopic effect. So that's how we represent uh, this gyroscopic effect. Thank you.